welcome. God bless you all. Let's open our mouth as we begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, we bless your name. Jehovah, we exalt you, Lord. King of glory, we worship you. Our Lord, we bless you. We worship you, Lord, for you a glorious God. You are the God that does not sleep, nor slumber. You are the prayer answering God. Father, we worship your name. Jehovah, we give you praise. King of glory, ancient of days, we adore you. I bless your name, O oh Lord, for everyone connected, wherever you are connected from. I lift up the name of the Lord God Almighty. I worship you, Lord, for oh Lord, for your love upon us. We exalt you. We adore you. You are wonderful. You are great. Who is like unto thee, O oh Lord, who can be compared to your name? Father, we worship you. Jehovah, we give you praise. King of glory, you are wonderful. Ancient of days, lion of the tribe of Judah, we thank you, Lord. O oh Lord, we worship you. Daddy, we give you all the praise. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the glory. Yes, go ahead and join me and begin to bless the name of the Lord wherever you are. Yes, worship the name of the God Almighty. Go ahead and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, we bless you. Daddy, we exalt you for what you have done, for what you will do. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. How excellent is your name. How marvelous is your name. How glorious is your name. Jehovah, we worship you. Jehovah, we give you praise. Lord, we say you are worthy. How marvelous is your name. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, I wanted to open your mouth and join me. For the Bible says, if we confess our sins, it's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord for what the Lord will do. Let's ask the Lord to have mercy. Let's begin to ask the Lord to cleanse us from every sin. Our Lord and our God, we come to you as a sinner. We ask that you have mercy upon each and every one of us. We ask that you forgive us from all our sins and iniquities. Father, Lord, we ask that you have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. We ask that you wash us from every sin. King of kings, forgive us, O oh Lord. Ancient of this lion of the tribe of Judah, wash us from every sin, all unrighteousness, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that you cleanse us from our iniquities. Purge us from our sins. Purify us, O Lord. Let us be as white as snow. Let our sins not hinder our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. One more time, wherever you are, let's begin to thank the Lord for another day at His feet. Our Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you will do. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your mightiness. We thank you for your awesomeness. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for seeing us through another day. We thank you for who you are, how you have been our guide, our protector, our almighty deliverer. We worship your name. We give you praise, O Lord. We exalt you. Hallowed be thy name. Glory be unto you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. King of glory, we exalt you. And so right there where you are, I opened my mouth and I'm praying for you. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak into the life of your children. As many that are connected to me, O oh Lord, wherever they're connected from, King of glory, ancient of days, the ruler of the whole world, the master of the universe, the Jehovah Hell Shaddai, the King of kings, the Lord of all, the one that holds the whole hands, the whole world with his hands. Father, you know your children, you know wherever they are. I thank you on their behalf in Jesus' name. Oh, as many that are listening to me, wherever they are, I thank you for their homes. I thank you for their families. I thank you for their businesses. I thank you for their marriages. I thank you for their going out and their coming in. I thank you for your deliverance over their lives. I thank you for your healing over their lives. I thank you for your blessings over their lives. I thank you for your awesome power. I thank you for your greatness. I thank you, Lord Almighty, for you are good and there is none like 
thank you. I glorify your name, Jehovah. I say, blessed be thy name, O Lord. Glory be unto you, Father, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord Almighty, I decree and I declare that today on this prayer line, you will, Almighty, deliver the oppressed in Jesus' name. You will set the captives free in the name of Jesus. You will, Almighty, do a new thing in the name of Jesus. As many that are connected to me, O Lord, I ask that your mighty hands will, Almighty, overshadow and will protect them and will work in their lives in the name of Jesus. Daddy, you will break bondages in Jesus' name. You will almighty fight their battles in the name of Jesus. You will open their eyes in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, we ask, O oh Lord, for your hands of deliverance. You will do a new thing in their lives and in their destinies in the name of Jesus. My Father, I ask, O oh Lord, that every power that will be arousing anyone or that has been arousing anyone on this prayer line, I command those powers to be disgraced, to be disgraced, to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the night that the enemy has fired at you, I command those evil arrows to go back to sender in seven folds, to go back to sender in seven folds, to go back to sender in the name of Jesus. Every power that is not of God walking against you, I silence them in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, by the power that created the whole world, I decree that let your stubborn bondages be broken by fire. Let your stubborn bondages be broken by thunder. Let your stubborn bondages be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. In the name of Jesus, every ancestral bondage, every generational bondage, every occultic bondage, every witchcraft bondage upon your life, upon any area of your life, I command them to be broken by fire in the name of Jesus, to be broken, to be broken, to be broken. As the walls of Jericho brought, was brought down, let your bondages be brought down. Let your bondages be broken. Let your bondages be broken. Let your bondages be broken. Wherever you are listening to me, I decree by the decree of heaven, let the power of Jehovah begin to break your bondages. Begin to break your bondages. Begin to break your bondages. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God Begin to set you free. Begin to set you free. Begin to set you free. In the name of Jesus. Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possession. As you are on this prayer line, on this Mount Zion, I decree there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. You shall possess your possession. There shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. You shall possess your possession. There shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. You shall possess your possession. There shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. You shall possess your possession. The mighty hand of Jehovah will begin to walk in your life. Will begin to walk in your life. Will begin to walk in your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything that sounds difficult as you are saying amen wherever you are. My brother, my sister, as you are saying amen wherever you are. Every difficult situation, every tough situation, I command them to surrender to the power of God in your life to surrender to the power of God in your life to surrender to the power of God in your life every situation that looks impossible every situation that looks hard every situation that looks not able to help work or not able to get a solution let the mighty hand of God begin to touch them and begin to dissolve it and begin to divide it and begin to bring solution in the name of Jesus Zanda Kayaba, Maria Karaba Zeke de Bushanda Likayaba, Maporobo Zakayaba Leke de Boza, Mapoko Robo Zende Lebo Shanda Likaya. Everyone that is connected to me, yourself and your household, I speak in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God locate you now. Let the hand of Jehovah touch you. Let the power of God begin to manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, any power that is not of God, any power that is not of God, walking contrary to the will of God for your life, I command those powers to surrender, to surrender, to surrender, to surrender. Let the will of God be done in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the power of God, let the anointing of God begin to manifest in your life. Begin to manifest in your life. Begin to manifest in your life. In the name 
of Jesus Christ. And so I soak every one of you with the blood of Jesus. I cover your family, I cover your homes, I cover your surrounding, I cover your businesses, I cover your children, I cover your wives, I cover your husband with the blood of Jesus. Everything that concerns you with the blood of Jesus. Because there shall be no loss, 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 there shall be no loss. I cover every part of your home in the blood of Jesus. King of glory, we bless your name. Jehovah, we exalt you. Lion of the tribe of Judah, we give you praise. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. A louder hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for your love. I want to thank the Lord for your life. I want to thank the Lord Almighty for what is doing in your home. I want to thank the Lord for what is doing in your family, in your marriages. I want to thank the Lord for your testimonies. I pray again that the Lord will continue to bless you and give you testimonies in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. For those of you on the prayer line, I want to say God bless you all. The hand of the Lord will continue to walk in your lives in Jesus' name. For those of us on Instagram, God bless you on Instagram. Those of you on Facebook Live. God bless you on Facebook Live. And for those of you on Periscope, I want to say the Lord will bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I want to say that I, for those of you who have not heard your testimony, I want to tell you that the Lord God Almighty is bringing your testimonies on the way. And by the grace of God, the King of glory, the ancient of this, I will also hear your testimony. I will read your testimony. I will hear your testimony. I will read your testimony in the name of Jesus. Whether the devil likes it or not, your testimony shall manifest in the name of Jesus. And I want to tell you, for those of you that have read your testimony during this week, I want to say that your testimony, I soak in the blood of Jesus. Your testimonies are permanent. I say your testimonies are permanent. The devil will not be able to reverse your testimony. The power of darkness will not be able to reverse your testimony. Your testimony will bring forth further testimonies. This is the beginning of testimonies in your life. This is the beginning of testimonies in your home. And I know that the Lord will perfect that which he has started, and surely you shall have testimonies. God bless you, you are welcome, and the Lord will be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, well, welcome everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let's go ahead, let's share this video. As you are sharing the video, I'm going to be praying for you that the hands that you're using to share this video will not be cut off. That the hands that you're using to share this video will continue to prosper. As you are sharing the word of God, the message of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord begin to make your ways to prosper. The hand of God begin to manifest in your life. So go ahead, begin to share the video. Let's go ahead and share the video. I can see lots of you already sharing it. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you on Periscope, go ahead, share the video by pressing the three buttons there and you will see yes you can now sh invite all your followers for those of you on Facebook live you know what to do it's pretty easy for those of you on Instagram well I'm going to figure out how to share it but just go ahead and share the video yes God bless you I can see lots of you sharing the video wonderful God bless you God bless you excellent because I know your testimony is next yes 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 your own testimony is next Yes, your testimony is coming. I can see that. It is your turn to testify. It is your turn to testify. It is your turn. It is your turn to testify. It is your turn to testify. It is your turn. Yes, I can see. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Wonderful, wonderful. Glory be to God. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Many of you have read your testimony, and I want to tell you that the Lord God Almighty will do greater things, will do marvelous things in your life and in your home in Jesus' name. And those of you that are expect, still expecting your testimony, the Lord is cooking your testimony. The Lord is cooking it. And very, very soon, once it is done, you will see the hand of the Lord in your life in the name of Jesus. So don't give up. Because there is a miracle on your way. 
there is a miracle and there's a testimony for you. Whether the devil likes it or not, you shall celebrate. And I will be part of those that will celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. So God bless you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you. For those of you that are just joining, you are welcome. And I pray the Lord continue to strengthen you. The Lord continue to bless you and begin to walk greatly in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all. So tonight, beloved, I want us to talk quickly. And I want us to talk about a mysterious battle that Christians have fought. A mysterious battle that children of God has fought. A mysterious battle that the Lord God Almighty has revealed about what children of God has been fighting on. And I want to tell you that the Lord God Almighty will surely strengthen you in Jesus' name. Listen, if we can't finish this, we will continue it on Thursday in the name of Jesus. Today, I'm going to be talking about the power to destroy demonic causes. Demonic causes. All these causes that are operating in the life of the children of God, you want to destroy them. The power to destroy them. All the demonic causes. All the causes that have been operating in the life of the children of God. Listen and listen to me very well. Every cause that my Heavenly Father has not planted in your life, any cause that is operating in your destiny, I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. I command the causes to be broken by fire. I command the causes to be destroyed. I command the causes to be broken. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen and listen to me very well. The money causes are Ah, I've actually fought the children of God. Causes have fought the children of God. Whether they are ancestral, whether they are demonic, whether they are mysterious, whether they are stubborn causes, it has actually dribbled the children of God. It is high time we talk about these causes because these causes must be broken. As a child of God, if you're operating under any mysterious, any stubborn cause, any demonic cause, every ancestral cause, I command those causes to be broken by fire in the mighty name of Jesus, to be broken by thunder, to be broken, to be broken in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Listen, as a child of God, as a child of God, if you're operating under any cause at all, it will continue to affect you. It will affect everything you do. It will affect your journey. It will affect your destiny. It will affect your business. It will affect your marriage. It will affect your children. It will affect every area of your life. It's the same thing when you are walking and you are being blessed. If you are walking under what I call a blessing. So listen to me carefully. A cause is just the opposite of a blessing. And I pray that the Lord will give you great understanding. In the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says in Numbers 23 verse 8. Numbers 23 verse 8. I'm reading the Bible now. Numbers 23 verse 8. It says what? How shall I cause whom God has not caused? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord hath not defiled? I have just read Numbers 23 verse 8. Numbers 23 verse 8. The book of Numbers. 23 verse 8. How shall I cause whom God has not cursed? Or how shall I defile whom the Lord has not defiled? I pray for you again that the mighty hands of Jehovah will manifest in your life in Jesus' name. And if the Lord has not cursed you, I decree that any curse operating in your life, in your family, I command them to be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. To be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. To be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, that was Numbers 23 verse 8. Now listen to me carefully and listen. For those of you that have just joined, just go ahead and go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video. For those that have just joined, go ahead and share the video. Listen, a cause is just the opposite. It's the opposite of a blessing. If you don't understand, understand that clearly. If you are not operating in a blessing, there is a cause somewhere that you need to address. There is a cause somewhere that you need to break. 
There is a cause somewhere that you need to destroy. Listen to me carefully. Jesus Christ has come. He has died on the cross for you and I. That we might be saved. That we might not live under any cause again. But many of us are still living under a cause. I want to decree into your life. Anyone that is listening to me. Wherever you are. I decree and I declare, let the causes operating in your life be broken by fire, be broken by fire, be broken by fire, be broken by fire, be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. A cause is a negative, evil word that has been spoken upon a human being, upon a people, upon a, a family, upon a country. Upon a village, upon a city, is a negative, evil word. A negative, evil word. A negative, evil word. Some of you may not understand what I'm saying, but I pray that God will give you understanding in Jesus' name. What is a cause? A cause is an invitation to what I call an evil supernatural power. A cause is an invitation to evil supernatural powers. To begin to fight a person, to begin to fight a people, to begin to fight a family, to begin to fight a country, to begin to fight a city, to begin to fight a village, to begin to fight even an object, is an invitation to evil supernatural powers. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to believe that you are hearing me. What is a cause? A cause is a call to... What I call supernatural powers to begin to bring harm, to bring harm to a person, to begin to harm the person, to begin to harm the person, a person, a, an object, a family. It is a negative word. I pray that if any cause has been issued upon you, any demonic cause has been issued upon your life, upon your career, upon your marriage, upon your business, is broken now. Is broken now, is broken now, is broken now, is broken now. I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. What is a cause? A cause is something that causes a great harm. It causes a great harm or a grief to a person, to a people, to a, a country, to even an object. A person, when the cause comes, he brings what I call harm. He harms the person. He brings grief. He brings, makes the person to be crying. I pray that anyone that is crying or preaching under any cause today, let those causes be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let those causes be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let those causes be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. What is a cause? A cause is a negative word that has been issued to make a person to fail, to make a man, a woman to fail. My brother, my sister, listen to me very well. The way, the reason why you are failing is not because you did not try. It's not because you did not do anything. It's not because you did not try your best. You tried your best, but a cause is somewhere saying that you will not move forward. A cause is operating somewhere saying that you will not get it. A cause is operating somewhere saying that you do not have a settled marriage. A cause is operating somewhere saying that you will not have a good job. A cause is operating somewhere saying that you will not be a good Christian that you should be. I want to pray again for you that every mysterious cause, every stubborn cause, every hidden cause that has been dribbling you, is the dribbling your effort, working against your effort. I command that cause to break by fire, to break in the name of Jesus. Let those causes be broken. Let, let those causes be broken. In the name of Jesus, I command, let those causes be broken. Be broken. Be broken. By fire, be broken. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Listen to me and listen very well. A cause is meant to bring sorrow to a person. A cause is meant to bring sorrow. To bring sorrow. That is the intention of the cause. That the person will never live in joy. A cause is to bring sorrow, is to bring failure, is to bring disaster, is to bring calamity, is to bring tragedy. That is the intention of a cause. And so listen to me carefully. If a cause is operating in your life, it has to be broken. 
I know a brother who testified that for several years he was always having accidents. He was always having accidents. When he went for deliverance, he began to pray against any cause that had been issued against him. That was when the accident stopped. What I mean is that any, every particular time in the year, he will have an accident. He will have an accident. And what happened is that he has been caused. He has been caused. Listen, a cause you don't address may fight you. A cause you don't address may torment you. A cause you don't address may dribble you. A cause you don't address may bring tragedy to you. A cause that you don't address may begin to make you cry. A cause you don't address may make you to feel miserable. Beloved, I want to tell you loud and clear that you have to address any cause of Britain in your life. And I pray that the mighty hand of God will begin to fight for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we're talking about demonic causes. Who are those that can place a cause? Who are those that can place a cause? The first one is that evil spirits will, can place a cause. Evil spirits can what? They can place a cause. The Bible tells us that Satan himself, in John 10, verse 10, it says, The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. That I am, and I am come that I might, you might have life and that you might have it more abundant. John 10, verse 10. So, evil spirits, they can place a cause. Satan and his agents can place a cause on a human being and it will begin to happen. They can place a cause. Satan himself will place causes. And so, listen to me, demonic causes, you, want to, you don't want to play with them. I pray that every demonic cause operating in your life uh, shall be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, now listen, all the agents of darkness, they can place a cause. All the agents of the devil, they can place a cause. The Bible says in John chapter 8 verse 44, John chapter 8 verse 44, John chapter 8 verse 44, it says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. I have just read John chapter 8 verse 44. All the agents of the devil, they can place a cause. Who can place a cause? All those that have authority over you, they can place a cause. All those that have authority over you, they can place a cause. A father can place a cause upon the children. Genesis chapter 9, verse 20 to 25. Genesis chapter 9, 20 to 25. You will see that Noah in the Bible, he cost his sons. He cost his sons and immediately began to happen in their lives. Those that have authority over you. You will see also that a husband can also cause a wife. A husband can cause a wife. A husband can cause a wife because he has authority over the wife. Genesis 31, verse 31 to 35. Genesis 31, 31 to 35. The Bible says that Jacob cursed Rachel. That whosoever stole the idol of Laban, he says that person should die. And he did not know that it was Rachel that stole that idol. Every one of you know what happened to Rachel, who died. That was the only person recorded that died during childbirth. I pray that the power of God will destroy every cause in your life in the name of Jesus. The power of Jehovah will destroy every cause in your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. So that was one I read. I read Genesis chapter 9, which is the one for Noah. Genesis chapter 9, verse 20 to 25. You will see Noah cursing his son. That is in Genesis chapter 9, verse 20 to 25. Genesis chapter 9, verse 20 to 25. That was Noah cursing. Then, you will also see that your spiritual father can also curse you. You will see in 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 25 to 27. 2 Kings chapter 5, 25 to 27. 
second Kings chapter 5 25 to 27 he says but he went he, of course here you see Elisha he caused Gehazi he caused him and he says let the leprosy of Naaman cleave unto him I decree and I declare that every cause that has been issued upon us by anyone that has authority over us the blood of Jesus shall reverse them the blood of Jesus shall cleanse us from them the blood of Jesus shall begin to prevail for us the blood of Jesus shall begin to walk on our behalf thank you Jesus let's read what happened in 2nd Kings chapter 5 25 to 27 2nd Kings chapter 5 25 to 27 he says but he went in I'm reading it now but he went in and stood before his master. And Elisha said unto him, When cometh thou, Gehazi? And he said, Thy servant went to whither? He went no whither. And he said unto him, Went not my heart with thee? When the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee, is it time to receive money and to receive garments and olive yards and vine yards and sheep and oxen and men servants and maid servants? The leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence a leper as white as snow. Praise the name of the Lord. So listen to me carefully. The man of God, Elisha, caused Gehazi. The man of God, Elisha, caused Gehazi. Your spiritual father, your husband, those that have authority over you like your father, like Noah caused his son, they can issue a curse. I want to tell you again that any cause operating in your life, I decree, let those causes be broken in Jesus' name. Let those causes be broken in the name of Jesus. Let those causes be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My brother, my sister, listen to me carefully. I am going somewhere and I want you to understand carefully. Now, for those of you that have just joined, let's go ahead and share the video again. Let's go ahead and share the video. God bless you. God bless you. Go ahead and share the video. Now, the person that can also cause is God. God himself can cause. He can place a cause. Our Lord God can place a cause. You will find God pronouncing a cause upon Cain. Genesis chapter 4, verse 8 to 12. He pronounced a cause on Cain. Immediately, he killed Abel, his brother. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, listen to me very well. There's some facts about causes that you must know. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you that are sharing the video, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you on Periscope, I want you to go ahead. Let's share this video. Let's share this video. Let's share this video. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Share it to your followers. God bless you. Now, listen. A cause can be placed on a human being. It can be placed on an object. It can be placed on a land. It can be placed on a property. It can be placed on a house. It can be placed on a car. It can be placed on anything. It can be placed on your handiwork. A cause can be placed on anything at all. So when you're operating under a demonic cause, you've got to begin to ask yourself what is happening. Eh? And I'm saying this because there have had lots of people talking to me. And I want you to have an understanding. That is why I decided to talk about this again today. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will give us a great understanding in the name of Jesus. Demons. And evil spirits, they are always employed to implement a cause. Listen to me very well. Demons and evil spirits, they are always employed to implement a cause. And I pray that any demon, all the evil spirits that are implementing any cause in your life, uh, I command those causes uh, to be broken in Jesus' name. Uh, I command those demons, uh, I command those evil spirits uh, to release you by fire, to release you by thunder, to release you in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray for somebody right now. I pray for you where you are. The cause that was issued upon your life uh, 
by the powers of your father and your mother's house. I command it. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken by fire. In the name of Jesus, I command, let your causes be broken. Let your causes be broken. Every cause operating in your life, I command it to break, 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 to break by fire. In the name of Jesus, let the cause that was all issued upon you by any man dead or alive, anyone dead or alive, let those causes break by thunder, break by fire, break by thunder, break by fire, break by thunder, break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are broken. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, a cause can be open or it can be closed or hidden. Many people are operating under what I call an hidden one. He didn't cause. They don't understand when it came to them. They didn't understand when they carried the cause. They didn't understand when they acquired the cause. They didn't understand what happened to them. They don't understand when the cause began to operate in their lives. I pray for you. Every cause operating in your life, every conscious and unconscious cause, every opener and hidden cause, let the power of God begin to destroy them. Let the power of God begin to destroy them. Let the power of Jehovah begin to destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now, listen to me very well. A cause can be what? Can be pronounced either audibly or inwardly. A cause can be what? Pronounced audibly or inwardly. Meaning that a person can stay inwardly and be causing a child of God. And that's why I read the first Bible first for you. It says, how shall I cause whom the God has not caused? Or how shall I defile whom the Lord has not defiled? Numbers 23 verse 8. Numbers 23 verse 8. As a child of God, if the Lord has not caused you, no one can cause you. But if that cause is operating in your life, because you are connected today, because you are connected to the source of power. Because of the anointing. The Bible says by the reason of the anointing. Every yoke must be broken. I declare that every curse over your life. By the reason of the anointing. Let them be broken by fire. Let them be broken by thunder. Let them be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every curse. Every curse from your father's house. Your mother's house. Every curse in your village. Every curse issued upon you. By anyone dead or alive, every curse placed upon you, I command those curses to be broken, to be broken, to be broken, to be broken, to be broken. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen very well. We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Listen to me, my brother, my sister. I want you to have an understanding. I want you to have an understanding. When things are happening, I want you to have an understanding. What does the Bible tell us? The Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. Let somebody put it up for me. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. Galatians 3, verse 13 to 14. And every one, every one of us must know this. As many of you that are almighty that have what I call a, an ancestral nature of from from I mean I, I, I'm, I'm as many that are black and your 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 ancestry is from Africa, you must know this Bible verse by heart. You must know this Bible verse by heart. You must read it every day. Galatians chapter 3, 13 to 14. Galatians 3, 13 to it says what Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a cause for us, for it is written, Cost is everyone that angered on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Through faith. I've just read Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. I read it again one more time for the benefit of those of you that may not have heard it. Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made a cause for us. For it is written, Cost is everyone that angered on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Praise the name of the Lord. And I pray that the power of God shall begin to manifest in your life in Jesus' name. 
Now, a cause can be reversed. It can be broken. It can be revoked. A cause can be reversed. It can be broken. It can be revoked. A cause can be reversed. It can be broken. It can be revoked. So, the way people have or the way people have acquired a cause by issuing by by words of mouth it can also be reversed be revoked and also be broken by the word i pray that today anyone connected to me anyone listening to me anyone that is almighty hearing me from whatever the power of jehovah will break your cause in the name of jesus because christ's christ has redeemed you Christ has redeemed you, and I know that the blood of Jesus uh, will destroy your causes in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. One of the facts I will tell you again uh, is that a cause can only be destroyed by a stronger power. A cause can be destroyed by what? A stronger power. So if a demonic cause has been issued upon you, the power of Jesus will break the cause. If a demonic cause has been issued upon you, the power of Jesus Christ, uh, the name that is above all names, uh, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, uh, the power in the blood of Jesus, uh, will destroy that cause. And I pray that today, as many of you that believe and have the faith, uh, I decree into your life, uh, you my brother, you my sister, connected to me wherever you are, every cause you know nothing about, uh, every cause that came unto you without you knowing anything about it, I command, let those causes be broken uh, by fire. Let those causes be destroyed. Let those causes be broken. I pray for you right now that any cause upon your head, any cause upon your eyes, any cause affecting any area of your body, every cause of terminal sickness, every cause of terminal sickness, every cause of a mysterious sickness, every cause of a mysterious disease, every cause of an illness that you don't understand and doctors don't understand, right there where you are, I decree, let those causes be broken. By the power in the blood of Jesus, let those causes be broken. Let your causes be broken. Let those causes be broken. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree, let those causes be broken. Let the cause break. Let the cause break. Let the cause break. Every cause affecting your body, affecting your health, affecting your brain, affecting your life, affecting your home, I command it to be broken by fire in the name of Jesus, to be broken by the blood of Jesus, to be broken by fire, to be broken by the blood, to be broken by fire, in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Now, listen again. I said, only a stronger power can reverse or break a curse. Only a stronger power can reverse or break a curse. So, you must possess more anointing, or you must go and meet someone that has more anointing, to break the cause issued upon you by any demonic power, by any demonic force. I pray for you again, that any power that has caused you, whether dead or alive, every demonic cause operating in your life, I command it to be broken by the power in the name of Jesus, by the authority in the name of Jesus. Let those causes be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree. Amen. Now, listen to me. Many causes actually were provoked as a, as a result of sin. When man sinned, God came inside and began to cause all those that participated in the sin. It caused Satan first. It caused the woman. It caused the man. You will see this in Genesis chapter 3, verse 14 to 19. Genesis chapter 3, verse 14 to 19. You see God causing all those that participated in in that sin, in the garden of Eden, in the garden of Eden, God caused man, he caused the woman, he caused Satan. Genesis chapter 4, you will see that from, or you go to Genesis chapter 3, start from Genesis chapter 3, you will see everything from 14 to 19. Genesis chapter 3, from 14 to 19. Genesis chapter 3, from 14 to 19. You see God doing it. Now, you will see now also that one of the things I will say is that a cause can also go from generation to generation. Just like a blessing can go from generation to generation, a cause can go from what? Generation to generation. And you will see something like that in Exodus. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 5. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 5. Exodus 
20 verse 3 says, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt have no other God before me. And it says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the head beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow thyself to them nor serve them for I the Lord I the Lord thy God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord Exodus 20 verse 3 to five Exodus 20 verse 3 to 5 God himself was talking there saying that is a jealous God he does not want you to share him with anyone so when you begin to bow down to any other God God he says that he should you shouldn't bow he says I the Lord am a jealous God I visit the iniquity of the father upon the children even unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Exodus 20 verse 3 to 5. Listen carefully. A cause can go from generation to generation. And when it goes from one generation to the next one. It becomes bigger. Just like a blessing. When the blessing went from Abraham to his son Isaac. It went big. Are you getting me? And by the time it came to Joseph. The blessing was so big. Joseph had now become a deliverer of nations. A deliverer of the entire nation. By the time the blessing came to Joseph, listen, a curse is the same way. And you know, a blessing is the opposite of a curse. So what am I trying to tell you? That if you're operating under a curse, you must destroy it. So that you don't pass it to your children. And your children pass it to the children's children. And by the time you're passing the curse again, it will have been bigger. Now what am I trying to say is that many of us inherited some curses. We inherited some demonic causes from our parents. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for somebody. That the cause that was issued upon you, the cause you knew nothing about, that was issued upon you, right there where you are, the power of God is destroying it. The power of God is destroying it. The power of God is destroying your cause. I said the power of Jehovah is destroying that cause, is destroying the cause, in the name of Jesus, let your causes be broken, let those causes be broken, let those causes be broken, I decree, let those causes be broken, every mysterious cause, every hidden cause, every stubborn cause, every demonic cause, over your life, I break it, 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 I break it in the name of Jesus Christ, Daddy, I thank you for those, your children, that you have identified. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I thank you because you are starting to break their cause and it shall be broken permanently. Those causes are broken permanently. Those causes are broken permanently. Those causes are broken permanently. Affliction shall not arise a second time. I say affliction shall not arise a second time. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue. Thank you, Lord. Mapo Sakayaba. Jesus, his power is here. Now, listen to me very well. How will I know when I'm operating under a cause? How do I know when I'm operating under a cause? One of the ways, I'm going to talk about seven ways today, and we will chat to pray. Listen, one of the ways that you will know that you're operating under a cause is that you will be doing a lot of good things but you will not have anything to show for it. You'll be doing lots of what? Good things, but you've got no result. There will be no output. There will be no output. You're doing a lot of good things. You have great ideas. You do lots of things. You are engaging in lots of activities, but you don't see the result. Listen, there is a cause. It's not about you begin to address those causes. Whether they are foundational causes, mysterious causes, stubborn causes, demonic causes. You need to begin to address them. You need to begin to destroy them. Because you work very hard. You do lots of things. You move. You, you, you are a mover. You, are, you move a lot. But the cause is always setting you 
in the same position or setting you back. That is number one. Number two is that, listen to me, you will rise. If you see yourself rising very well, then all of a sudden you just come down. All of a sudden a force bigger than you bring you down. A force bigger than you bringing you down all the time. You will rise at a particular time of the month of the year. All of a sudden, you come down. Your business will flourish. All of a sudden, at a particular time of the year, the business goes down. Listen, there is a cost to be destroyed. There is a cost to be broken. There is a cost to be destroyed. There is a cost that you need to destroy. And I pray that the hand of Jehovah will destroy those causes in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to me again. Number three, number three, listen to number three now. When all the efforts that you have put in are yielding no results, when all the efforts you are putting in are yielding no results, there is a cost. There is a cost. Meaning that you have all the connections, you know everybody, you know everyone you need to know, you have everything, you put all the efforts, but it's yielding no result. There is a cost you need to begin to address. That is number three. Number four, number four, listen. When things that have what I call no natural explanation happen to you, when things that have no natural what, explanation, you can't explain it. You just cannot explain it. Say, how did this happen? How did this happen? How? How? How did this happen? If you cannot explain it, there is a cause at work. There is a cause that you need to break. There is a cause you need to address. There is a cause you need to destroy. I pray for you now. You that my fellow brother, you that my sister, I decree that you shall not lose that your house. I say you shall not lose that house again. Any cost operating against you, any cost operating against you, that you can't hold the property for too long, I break that cost. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break the cost. I break the cost. Every generational cost that affected your father, it affected your mother, and is now affecting you, I command, let those causes be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I say let the causes be broken. By fire, let those causes be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me again, clearly. Number five, number five, number five. When all of a sudden, those that are below you becomes your senior. When all of a sudden, those that are under you becomes your boss. When all of a sudden, those that should not even be on top of you, they make them to be on top of you. Listen, there is a cost that you need to break. There is a cost that you need to destroy. There is a cost you need to address. When all of a sudden, from where you are, you are, on, you are, you are at the top. They just made somebody that is below you to be on top of you. And it has happened not once. It has happened not twice. It has happened not three times. Listen, there is a cost you need to break. You need to break that cause of demotion and the cause of setting back. You need to break those causes. And I pray that the power of Jehovah will break your causes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Now, listen, number six. Number six. I've got seven of them I'm going to tell you. Number six. Number six. When you fail, when you should be a winner. You fail when you should be what? A winner. You have all the qualification. You have every reason to be the winner. You have every reason to be on top. You have every harmony, everything in your hands. You have every advantage. You, you can see it yourself. You know that you have all advantage. But all of a sudden, you see yourself failing. And it's not happened once. It's not happened twice. It's not happened three times. It happens all the time. All the time. All the time. I know a sister who told me, Pastor, I have had more than four broken engagements. Four broken engagements. For broken engagement and she cried and said pastor i need i said listen you got to break every demonic cause of putting over your marriage and i pray that it shall be well in the name of jesus for those of us on instagram it's going to be off in seven seconds i'm going to put it on again and i pray that the lord will touch you just stay tuned i'll put it on again for those of us on periscope please go ahead and share the video those of us on facebook go ahead and share this video God bless you. God bless you. Let's go ahead and share the video one more time while I set up that. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and share this video one more time. Go ahead and share the video. Listen, when you should win and you see yourself as a loser, you need to what? 
know that you have to break a course. Now, number seven that I'll talk about. When all of a sudden, you have what I call unexplainable hatred. Hatred come upon you from left, right, and center. You have just moved into a, an environment and everybody in the environment hates you. You have not gone, you have just resumed in a job or in an office and all of a sudden there's hatred everywhere. When hatred is centered at you, you're standing at a bus stop to enter the train or to enter the bus and all of a sudden there is a hatred centered at you. All of a sudden it is you, 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 you. All of a sudden they single you out for hatred. It looks like there's a mark of hatred it looks like there's something going around with you that makes people to just go and say what is happening here who is this lady and uh, uh, originally they may all love you but all, all of a sudden everything becomes negative there is a negative aroma around you my brother my sister begin to break the course begin to break the course begin to break the course i pray for you i decree into your life that every course that the enemy has placed on you Every demonic cause, every satanic cause, every occultic cause, every generational cause, every cause from your father's house, every cause from your mother's house, I command her, let those causes be broken. Let it 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 be broken. It be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Now, who can break a cause? Listen carefully. If anyone that, he, that, that wants to break, anyone that issued a cause upon you, the Lord can break those causes. The Lord can what? Break the causes. The power of Jehovah can destroy any cause. There is no cause that our God cannot break. And that's why I say this very clearly. I say this to you. The Bible says in Isaiah 10, 27, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. I pray that because of the anointing of God tonight, because of the anointing of God on the, with us today, I decree let those curses be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, let every curse operating in your life be broken now. Be broken by fire. Be broken now. Be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now, the Bible tells us, Job 22, verse 28, which is a very a Bible verse I like very much. It says, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light of God shall shine upon thy ways. Listen, when you decree, when I speak into your life, I decree that it shall be established in the name of Jesus. I now decree into your life, I speak into your life, that any curse, every demonic curse, every occultic curse, every generational curse, every witchcraft curse, every curse of your father's house, the curses of your mother's house, every curse in your environment, every ancestral curse, I command them to be broken by fire, to be broken by thunder, to be broken by fire, to be broken by thunder to be broken 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 in the name of jesus christ my lord i decree that everyone that is listening to me wherever they are listening from let your power begin to break their course let your power break their cost. Holy Ghost, break their cost. Holy Ghost, break the cost. Every cost upon every man, every woman, all my brothers, all my sisters that are listening to me, any cost affecting their house, affecting their marriage, affecting their business, let them be broken. 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 Them be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say let them be broken. Let those causes be broken. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, let those causes be broken. Be broken broken be broken be broken in the name of jesus christ wherever you are listening to me and put your right hand on your head you will sound loud and clear with me put your right hand on your head wherever you are connected to me listening to me your right hand on your head you will shout with fire say every cause 
operating over my head be broken by the blood of Jesus. Every curse operating over my head be broken by the blood of Jesus. Be broken by the blood of Jesus. Be broken by the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Your right hand on your head. Every curse operating over my head be broken by the blood. Be broken by the blood. Be broken by the blood of Jesus. Be broken by the blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken by the blood. 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 In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now, before I go, I'm going to pray for some people now. As I'm praying for you, listen to me carefully. Listen and listen to me carefully. The yoke shall be broken because of the anointing. And so the anointing of God is here today. And I want to break every cause, especially the causes of infirmity. The cause of sicknesses, the cause of diseases, mysterious diseases. The doctors don't understand what is happening to you. The doctors have no clue what is happening to you. The doctors, they just, they just moving around. They are using your body as a testing, or as a testing place. They are testing your blood today, testing your organs tomorrow. They just don't have a clue what is happening. It is not about the fault of the doctor. It is not about the fault of the doctor. It is because the cause is dribbling them. The cause is dribbling them. The cause is dribbling them. I decree by the reason of the anointing, eh? ah, every yoke shall be broken. Every stubborn yoke, the yoke of the oppressor, every yoke of sickness, every yoke of diseases, every yoke of long time illness over your life, I command it to be broken. In the name of Jesus, let your causes be broken. Let your causes be broken. Let your causes be broken. I break every cause operating in the life of this your daughter. Daddy, I speak uh, by the decree of heaven, uh, by the name that is above all names, uh, the name of Jesus Christ, uh, the Son of the living God. Uh, I break every curse, uh, every mysterious curse, uh, every curse that is setting you backward, uh, every curse that is taking you backward. Uh, I break that curse. Uh, I break the curse. Uh, I break the curse uh, over your life uh, in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been cursed uh, by anyone dead. Or alive because you are connected to this prayer line because you are connected to this prayer line I decree let those causes be broken 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I speak right now let the hammer of God come down and break every cause, every stubborn cause, every hard cause that is affecting your life. Hammer of God, break them. 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 Hammer of God, destroy them. Hammer of God, destroy them. Hammer of God, break them down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, King of Kings, I decree and I declare that any power that is not of God, every power that is waging war against your destiny, every power waging war against Against your life, I decree, let those powers be disgraced, be destroyed, be disgraced, be destroyed, be disgraced, be destroyed, be disgraced, be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty Father, I speak into the life of your children. As men that are connected to me on the prayer line, those that are connected to me on Facebook Live, those that are connected to me on Periscope, those that are connected to me on Instagram, I speak in the name of Jesus. Let every mysterious cause, every generational cause, every cause of thou shall not excel, every cause of thou shall continue to go backward, I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. To be broken, to be broken. As the cause was issued on a day, on a day also today, we are breaking those causes. In the name of Jesus, I join my faith with everyone connected to me. The Bible says where two or more are gathered, that you are there in their midst. Daddy, I am joining my faith with them. And we know that one shall chase a thousand, two shall chase ten thousand. We are decreeing today. By the decree of heaven, by the authority in the name of Jesus, by the name that is above all names, the Jehovah Jireh, the master healer, we break every cause, every generational cause, every demonic cause, every occultic cause, every witchcraft cause, every stubborn cause, be broken, 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 let it be broken, be broken over your life. I decree, let those causes be broken, let them be broken, be broken. 
broken by fire, be broken by thunder, be broken. Let your causes be broken in the name of Jesus. We pray every cause of career failure over your life. I speak in the name of Jesus. I speak by the authority in the name of Jesus. Let those causes over your career ah, let it be destroyed, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by thunder, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I speak to that brother. That which is always setting you back, uh, that which is always bringing you backward, uh, that evil chain uh, that the enemy has placed uh, and the cause is tightening the chain, uh, I command let those chains uh, be broken over your life, uh, be broken over your life, uh, be broken. Uh, every chain uh, dragging you back, uh, every cause attached to that chain uh, and is dragging you back. Uh, ancestral chain, uh, I break the cause, uh, I break the chain, uh, I break the cause, uh, I break the chain, uh, I break the cause, uh, I break the chain uh, in the name of Jesus. I say let those chains be broken. There shall be no backwardness. Backwardness never. Forward ever. Backwardness never. Forward ever. Backwardness never. Forward ever. Forward ever. You shall not go backward again. I decree again into the life. I decree into the life of eight people now. I decree let the mighty power of Jehovah that is wasting your effort. Uh, let those powers be dismantled, uh, be destroyed. Uh, every power wasting your effort, uh, every power wasting your time, uh, every power saying that you would amount to nothing, uh, every power saying that you will try but you will get nothing, uh, every power saying that you will be fishing, you will have nothing in the ocean of life. I command, uh, let those powers be set ablaze, uh, 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 be set ablaze. Uh, be set ablaze uh, I command those first powers to be set ablaze in the mighty name of Jesus. Be set ablaze, be set ablaze, be set ablaze in the name of Jesus Christ. Every cause that affected my parents, and you are now affecting me. Every cause that affected my parents, and you are now troubling me. Every cause that affected my parents, and you are now setting me backward. Release me and die in the name of Jesus. I decree, let these ones be released, be released, be released from every parental cause. Every parental cause, be released from those causes. Be released now, be released now. I'm praying for you now. Be released. Let those causes release you, release you, release you, release you, release you, release you, release you in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. 13 of you now. 13 of you, listen carefully. As the power of God is moving now, the power of God will begin to destroy every setback in your life. Father, as you have identified this 13 of them, let the setback that they have experienced, uh, let it be converted uh, to acceleration, uh, divine acceleration, uh, divine acceleration, divine acceleration, receive divine acceleration. Everywhere the causes uh, have set you back, uh, beginning from today, there shall be divine acceleration. There shall be double promotion. There shall be divine acceleration. There shall be double promotion. There shall be divine acceleration. There shall be double promotion. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak into your life. I dip you in the blood of Jesus. Let the curses over your life be washed away. I dip you your family, your properties uh, in the blood of Jesus. I dip your marriage in the blood of Jesus. I dip your home uh, in the blood of Jesus. And I speak uh, that every evil word uh, spoken into your life, uh, as it was spoken, uh, I'm speaking a positive word into your life. Uh, I'm making a divine declaration. Uh, I'm making a divine declaration uh, that beginning from today, you shall not go backward again. Uh, I'm saying beginning from today, Causes shall not operate over your life. Beginning from today, your causes are broken. They are broken. They are broken. It is written, Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And so, therefore, by that word, I stand on that word. I stand on the power in the name of Jesus. I stand on the rock of Jesus. I hide myself in the blood of Jesus. And I decree, let the cause operating in your family, operating in your life, operating in your home, every demonic cause, let them gather themselves together, be broken right now. I break them. I break them. Every cause affecting your destiny, every cause affecting your glory, every cause that does not want you to arise and shine, I command those causes to be broken by thunder, to be broken by fire, to be broken.
broken in Jesus' name, to be broken. I command, let those causes be broken. Let those causes be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be broken. Let them be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mapoka Raba Zekede Busha. Lipondo Robo Zanda Liko Robo Zekede. Maliko Robo Zekede Bushanda Lika. Every power that is saying that you will get nothing. Every what well, every every cause affecting the entire family every cause that is affecting father affecting son affecting mother affecting daughter i command those causes that are ancestral that are generational to be broken in the name of Jesus. let those causes let you go let those causes let you go let those causes be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. let the Lord God Almighty begin to manifest in your life everywhere the cause have affected you beginning from today beginning from today you are moving forward I say 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 you are moving forward the power of Jehovah will begin a great thing in your life my sister listen to me my brother listen to me it is time for you to testify it is time for God to begin to manifest in your life it is time for God to begin to do a new thing and so I speak in to your destiny. I speak into your life. I speak into your foundation. As you are saying amen where you are, let your causes be broken permanently. Let those causes be broken permanently. Let those causes be broken permanently. I say let your causes be broken. Be broken by fire. Be broken in the name of Jesus. My Lord, I say thank you. I break these causes and I say it shall not be reversed. Every cause that we have broken today, every cause that we have issued a decree upon, every cause that we have terminated today, every cause that we have destroyed today, I say no power will reverse it. In the name of Jesus, no power will reverse it. No power will be able to reverse it. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, I soak everyone with the blood of Jesus. As many that are connected to me, wherever you are connected from in the whole wild world, let the power of Jehovah locate you. Let the hand of God touch you. Let the mighty hand of Jehovah move for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The God whom you serve, it will arise and will begin to move you forward. It will begin to help you. It will begin to fight your battles. It will begin to uproot every generational cause, every cause planted into your destiny. Father, I speak again to someone. I decree to the life of that my, my, my mommy there. I say, let those causes be uprooted out of your life. Let it be uprooted now. Be uprooted. You can see the cause even uprooting in the life of your children. I speak and I declare, let those causes be uprooted. Be uprooted. Be uprooted. I decree, let them be uprooted and let the blood of Jesus begin to fill the gap. Let the blood of Jesus fill the gap. Let the blood of Jesus fill the gap. Blood of Jesus fill that gap in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Lord, I thank you. Everyone connected to me, I speak again to the life of someone. As you as you say amen, the power of God is healing you. And so any cause affecting your body, affecting your veins, affecting your blood, any cause issued into your blood system, into your veins, right there where you are. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus, the plantation of darkness over your life is uprooted. Is uprooted. Is uprooted. Is uprooted. Is uprooted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Daddy, we thank you for your power. King of glory, we exalt your name. Jehovah, we give you praise. Omnipotent God, you are greater. Jehovah, hell shall die, we exalt your name. Hallowed be the name of the Lord. For the prayers of today, we decree and we declare that it shall bring testimonies. It shall bring testimonies into your life, into your marriage, into your business, into your career, into your family, into your home. It shall bring testimonies. Anything that has been caused in your property, I decree that your properties are almighty soaked in the blood of Jesus. I soak all your properties in the blood of Jesus. I soak your cars. I soak your houses. I soak everything that belongs to you in the blood of Jesus. And I decree that no cause shall prevail over your life over them in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. Enemies of God in your life, around you, inside you, I command them to scatter, to scatter, to scatter, to scatter in the name of Jesus. Your head will not reject the prayers I'm praying for you today. I say your head will not reject the prayers of today. Your head will not reject the prayers of today. I decree that your head will not reject the prayers of today. Rather, 
As I've said this prayer, it will go into your life. It will go into your destiny. It will enter into your soul. It will enter into your body. It will go ahead of you. It will work for you. It will work for your children. It will work for your children's children. In the name of Jesus. And I speak again. That let Almighty God begin to manifest His power over your destiny. Over your life. Over your destiny. Over your life. And I speak into your future. That your future is secure in Christ Jesus. I declare again, your future is secure in Christ Jesus. For the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. As the Lord is strengthening you today, let your causes be broken and you are going to be able to do all things. Where you have failed, go back there. You shall get results. I say you shall get results. Where you have failed, you shall get results. Where you have failed, you shall get results. Where they have shut the doors against you, I I decree and I declare when you knock again those doors shall open by fire those doors shall open on their own accord those doors shall open unto you multiple doors of breakthroughs multiple doors of testimony multiple doors of increase shall be open unto you shall be open unto you within this very week I decree by the decree of heaven this very week, I say, you shall sing your song. You will dance your dance. I shall hear your testimony. This very week, you shall sing your song. You shall dance your dance. I will hear your testimony. This very week, I say, you shall sing your song. You shall dance your dance. I will hear your testimony. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God shall fight your battles. The mighty hand of Jehovah shall work for you. And I speak to someone here, the Lord will begin to open your eyes. There will be what I call divine revelation, divine revelation, divine revelation, right there where you are, let the mighty hand of Jehovah begin to rest upon you, let the power of God rest upon you, receive divine revelation, divine revelation, divine revelation, my Lord I say thank you, blessed be the name of the Lord, in Jesus mighty name we pray, amen, and so I cover you with the blood of Jesus, and I declare it is well with you, and your family in Jesus' name. Listen, in the next coming prayer line on Thursday, we will talk about this more in depth, but we will pray more. We will pray about those causes that has set you back, those causes that is hindering you, hindering your family, hindering your business. We want to pray more of them. So the next prayer line will be more of a prayer line. It will be more prayers. I have given you some introduction to those causes. By the grace of God, we will pray them, and I will be giving you a prayer point on that Thursday to, for you to go and pray very well. Some of us need to destroy those causes very well. Some causes have been longer. They are causes that senior us, senior us in age, senior our fathers in age, senior our father's fathers in age, and nobody in your family has addressed it. We want to address those causes. We want to break those causes, and we have to go into what I call serious prayers. Serious prayers prayers, serious prayers. A cause you don't deal with will come back and deal with you. A cause you don't address may begin to address you and begin to mesmerize you. I pray that no cause will mesmerize you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and the Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. And I want to say thank you for every one of you that have been calling and writing. The Lord will continue to strengthen you also in Jesus' name. As many of you that are praying, the Lord will continue to almighty answer your prayers. Listen, I'm going to be continue to pray for you. If you have any particular prayer request, send it to me in my inbox on Facebook. I will pray for you and our Lord, our God who answers prayers will answer those prayers in Jesus' name. So I take prayer requests, just send it to me on, on Facebook and I will add you to the prayer, our prayers and we'll be praying along with you. Don't suffer in silence. In this family here, we pray together. In this wonderful family, on this Facebook and Periscope and also on Instagram and on the prayer line, we pray together. So listen. We are here to pray for you. And I know our God who has been answered, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has never failed. He will never fail. In your matter, in your affairs, in your case, it will never fail. Make sure you send us prayer requests and the Lord God Almighty will strengthen you in Jesus' name. The prayer line holds every Monday and every Thursday, 11 p.m. UK time. The prayer line holds every Monday, every Thursday, 11 p.m. UK time. 
Then we have an extra prayer line on Thursdays in 11.30 a.m., which is a women's prayer line. 11.30 a.m. UK time is the women's prayer line. Then 11.30, 11 at night, 11 p.m. UK time is the general prayer line. So on Thursdays, we have an extra prayer line, which is 11.30 a.m. UK time. God bless you and the Lord will strengthen you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So have a lovely time, guys, and stay blessed and the Lord will be with you. For those of you on, on uh, Periscope and on Facebook Live, go ahead, let's share this video again. Let's share. Let somebody be blessed. Let somebody be blessed. Let somebody get these messages and be blessed. Please go ahead and share it. Go ahead, go ahead and share it. Yes, like the video, like the video and share it. Those of you on Periscope, I want to see you sharing the video with all your friends. Share them with all your followers also. God bless you. God bless you. Go ahead and share the video. Those of you on Instagram, go ahead also and share the video. God, those of you on the prayer line, the Lord will strengthen you. The mighty hand of God will be with you. And I pray that the Lord who has given you all to us will continue to bless and increase you in Jesus' name. God bless you all and stay wonderful. Have a lovely time. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, yes, Osaro. It's a home mercy. How are you? And God's a favor. The Lord will walk in your life. Abiodo Van Bushi. God bless you too. Dio Obiri. God bless you. Nancy Koba. Kobian. God bless you. Yes. It told me, God bless you all. Yes, God bless you. Adeni Kedaberi, God bless you. Nene Basi, how are you doing? Yes, the Lord will strengthen you. J. Andrew, God bless you. Oh my God. Yinka Alayami, God bless you. Ngozi Ani, God bless you. Ani Fibo. Okay, so Facebook was disturbing. As many of you did, did any of you get any disturbing on Facebook? Anita S. Bar, God bless you. Was Facebook very disturbing tonight? Brother Habdo, Joseph Kamara, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, the Lord will strengthen you all in the name of Jesus. Osamede, God bless you. Princess Onyade, how are you doing? Yes, God bless you. Diamond Mila, how are you?